News has been tracking Isaias all morning as it starts to move north there. What's the latest on this storm, Joseph? Well, Emily, you know this, you know, sometimes people think when it makes landfall, it kind of loses some steam, but sometimes it's just beginning for a lot of locations. And today, as the tropical storm has moved north rapidly over the last 15 hours or so, there's been many, many tornadoes, confirmed tornadoes that have been caused due to the outer bands. There's a lot of rotation that occurs uh, just in general, but behind the system, it's getting some force and a push of energy. So that's why it's not only moving a little bit quicker, but it hasn't lost some of that intensity and it has definitely caused some issues there. What happens at the surface, the wind becomes a little more weak, but aloft, it's still kicking. You have that wind shear, which is a change in direction uh, with the wind. So there it is, tropical storm uh, EC, as, as it does kind of move off towards the north there. Uh, you can see the long trail and path that it took all the way down from Florida, still moving to the north where there's tropical storm warnings. Uh, all the way across here for the remainder of today. And with that, as I've mentioned, there's been multiple tornado warnings. Not the case over here. It's definitely calm. We're kind of in the thick of summer for us. It's the driest moment of the year. It is also uh, the warmest moment of the year for us here in Portland. There's the blue sky. It's 75 degrees. Temperatures will be warming up to about the mid 80s for today. I have us topping off about 86 degrees with maybe just a couple passing clouds. Uh, but notice here for the satellite and radar that we still have that cloud coverage there moving along the Oregon coast and it's kind of kicking out of the north. So we may have some issues uh, with some upwelling eventually if it's consistent enough where those temperatures may actually stay kind of cool for some of those neighborhoods there along the coast, usually areas like Newport. So that's the case there today. Uh, the overall trend though for us here in the valley, it's above average until Thursday comes along. If we get to Thursday, those temperatures are down to about the mid 70s. Why? We have a front that's going to roll on in. Haven't had measurable rain since July 7th, so it's nearly been a month. And we'll see numerous showers on Thursday before we kind of fall back off Friday and Saturday. So we have plenty of dry time still. We're still in summer. Uh, but you may remember last year we had over an inch of rain for the month of August. This was uh, one of five times that we've seen over an inch of rain in August since 1990. So it doesn't happen very often. Usually we're leaning on the dry side, kind of similar to what we've been experiencing so far. All right, for our Tuesday, we're still dry. A few clouds early tomorrow morning. Some of those may fill in for areas of the southern Willamette Valley and even farther to the south areas like Eugene down towards Roseburg. We'll watch for a couple thunderstorms Wednesday night and early Thursday morning for central Oregon. But here comes that front. This is what's going to bring the rain. I'm thinking somewhere around 500 of an inch. I don't believe it's going to be a lot of rain for us here in the valley, uh, but enough to get the ground wet and hopefully some measurable rain for us. Watch what happens. That front, it falls apart quick. Doesn't really make uh, much of an impact east of the Cascades as far as measurable rain, but the wind will definitely pick on up. We'll see if that helps that fire as well. All right, seven-day forecast. 75 degrees on Thursday, Friday at 79. We have 81 degrees on Saturday and Sunday at 85. So we're cooling off with a chance for that rain on Thursday, but enjoy the sunshine in the meantime. All right, we'll be back after the break.